Now the deeds of the flesh are evident, which are immorality, sensuality, idolatry, sorcery, enmities, strife, jealousy, outbursts of anger, disputes, factions, envying, drunkenness, carousing, and things like these of which I forewarn you, just as I have forewarned you, that those who practice such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. The Greek word for flesh is sarx. The Middle English sar, from sarx, has nouns of pain, sorrow or bodily ailment. The Old Danish sar has a noun of wound, while the Old English sar had nouns of soreness and pain. The X, from sarx, is the 22nd letter of the Greek alphabet and is pronounced like chi which was an abbreviation of the Greek Christos, or Christ. X is also the legendary symbol for the ancient Anunnaki deity known as Nimrod, who was known to kill and eat the fair-skinned descendants of Shem. This is why his uncles Canaan and the demon god Baal gave us the word cannibal, or Canaan Baal. The use of this symbol X in our world always denotes witchcraft or sorcery. It is tense to live in the X. Hence, X is tense. A double X means to double cross or betray. Nimrod was also known as Bel, Meridach, and Marduk, the mighty hunter of Jehovah. Ever wondered why we say, cross my heart and hope to die? Pharmaceutical companies know very well the sorcery behind the X, and is used in names of most of their drugs. And this is why such things outside of us, such as saviors or cures, are all deceitful. The anagram for cures is curse. The physical life in the material flesh in this reality is most certainly in the realm of sub-frequencies to speak musically, which is the reason everything is fashioned around time here, because the signals need to be constantly translated from the higher frequencies of the mind, and then into matter, this is what produces the latency effect that ensures everyone is missing everything, as shown in the words reality and present. If something is pre-sent, this means that it was sent from somewhere else, higher vibrations, and needs time, latency to reach the lower realms. Latency itself is related to the occult, as seen in the Latin Latins, meaning hidden, concealed, secret, occult of course means hidden, unseen, since latency is the issue of everyone missing, and not truly seeing, and latency is related to time. One may easily inference that the physical forms in this reality of the false now, called the present, are thus trapped in time, never being able to see a way out, because time is accumulation and attachment. Careful you must be when sensing the future, Anakin. The fear of loss is a path to the dark side. 
I won't let these visions come true, Master Yoda. Death is a natural part of life. Rejoice for those around you who transform into the Force. Mourn them do not. Miss them do not. Attachment leads to jealousy. The shadow of greed, that is. What must I do, Master Yoda? Train yourself to let go of everything you fear to lose. The need for possessions, materialism, desire and goals keeps one gold, or jailed, doing time, because even as one dies, they feel that they needed to accomplish just one more thing, or have one more experience, or chase one more dollar, and so on. This is what it means to miss, and to miss is to sin, and therefore one ends back in the chain of rebirths to complete that which can never be completed, everyone carries this weight of the mental load and brings it along with them every day. Everyone is running in circles and getting nowhere, now here, nowhere, and so it is a race around the track of the one verse, universe of time, time that eats itself over and over again. And this is the exact basis our species is called, the human race. What is the first part of being free? First, there is no longer a self-identity, so the weight is gone. Let go of the identity because it truly is, an entity or what one might refer to as an uninvited guest. This does not mean that you no longer answer to your name. It simply means you have the insight that your name is simply a label of utility during this short-term experience inside of the particular vessel that you have found yourself in. Secondly, one is no longer going with the flow of the majority, one is treading the territory of the pathless, there is, a narrow gate, and very, very few ever find it, it is not just meditation as many are thinking that sets one free, meditation itself is grotesquely misunderstood, this is about every facet of one's life, and mentation. Become a nobody, because nobody knows the way out. Then one is tethered, ethered, to nothing. Freedom has no attachments, no goals, no desire. How many want to escape the time loop while caught up in telling so many stories of the past every single day? Nostalgia itself becomes the godhead that is anointed and ordained, which creates falsified futures from reiterations of former traditions to create even more illusionary futures. One is sacrificing themselves at the altar every single day. Only if somebody can have a future. Only if somebody comes from a rich past. Yet, the nobody is alone. All one. With nothing. And therefore, has everything. Freedom. The hawk, hock, or depth, death, of time, can no longer chase the nobody, because nobody is home. No, body, is home. 